The 182nd Suffolk Show came to Trinity Park, Ipswich on the 29th and 30th of May, and East Life magazine and website was there to see how they had utilised the 100 hectares of showground space for this year's event. It was plain to see just how much work had gone into organising and building an event on this scale, and we witnessed a vast assortment of activities on show for the small and big kids alike. We settled for an outsider's view when it came to the fairground rides and tried our very best to get close to the action for the stunt bike display. Our proximity shown here clearly shows how popular this event was. The usual characters were there to bring a smile to the faces of children and grown-ups and while the kids played on the merry-go-round, the adults would drive or observe machinery of a different kind. The flower and garden experience was a personal favourite, with a classy and cool indoor plant and flower area, with related exhibits and a selection of model gardens from local designers showing outside. The organisers commented that everything you love about living, working, relaxing and visiting Suffolk is waiting to be discovered at the Suffolk show, and we were very impressed with the variety of products, events and activities on show for all the family. Of course, one of the biggest draws is the variety of animals on show and how members of the family can learn about farm-to-fork processes, as well as personally interacting with the animals in a way that can only be done with the help of professionals in a controlled or closely supervised environment. There were also more than 325 equine classes, 2,000 horses and ponies, and high-level international show jumping, all of which were judged by top-class personnel. So whether it's sports, shopping, eating and drinking, cooking, entertainment, gardening, machinery or getting up close to your favourite animals, the Suffolk Show is indeed the county's biggest two-day pop-up event packed with new and exciting surprises. For events and things to do across East Anglia, please visit eastlife.co.uk.